Empty air the past few days tells the story. Mississippi kites are gone. Impressive displays in recent weeks forewarned the annual buildup before fall migration and numbers were the highest seen in recent years. The daily ritual designed to build strength for a 5,000 mile flight to as far south as Argentina was always the same. Arriving from overnight tree roosts, greening and drying occupied the morning's first hours while the air was still calm. Later, when breezes arose and thermal currents provided an elevator upward, the birds took wing for a day of soaring. Then they rode the skies nearly out of sight before coming down in late afternoon for a drink. Many of these were juveniles preparing for their first migration. Young birds are brown and striped, much different from the handsome gray adults. Kites are fairly long-lived, averaging a span of about eight years. Regardless of age, all were preparing for the marathon ahead. Geese, considered by most as long-range travelers, often migrate less than half the distance of kites. But these raptors are built for the long haul. With a wingspan of about 44 inches, they weigh just over half a pound. By contrast, a white-fronted goose has a wingspan of 59 inches and weighs nearly 10 times as much. Due to size and weight ratio, kites are buoyant and seem to float effortlessly. A few stragglers may be present in Kansas until late September, but at least here the main flight is gone. They'll be back near the 1st of May. The silent skies that once held the dazzling sparkle of kites on the wing are suddenly a reminder that fall is nearly here. I'm Mike Blair for Kansas Wildlife and Parks.